Hello. Just sitting here in the coffee shop and I figured I'd make a video on how I organize my VST folder. Now I'm in Studio One, but this is any DAW that you have. You just go to the section of your DAW where you pick where your VSTs go in. And in Studio One, it's right here. And I like to have all my VSTs in one folder because I don't know about you, but I get really dispersed as my VSTs get splattered all over my hard drive. So uh, I tried to fix that. The most sane thing I found to do is to create one folder, and I have it on my and on, on my second hard drive, but you can put it pretty much anywhere because VSDs don't take up a lot of space. I make one VST folder, and I put four folders inside of that. 32, 64, VST2, and VST3. And I do this because, depending on what VST you install, some of them ask you, where is your VST2 folder? Where is your VST3 folder? Um, where do you install your 64-bit plugins? Where do you install your 32-bit plugins? So these were the big four questions I get asked every time I install a VST. So I figured I'd make a folder for each. And then as long as you put your VST in these folders, you can do subfolders inside of that to organize things. Like I tried to do it here, but see all these that aren't in a folder? I might as well just make this now. These are my native instruments plugins. I could tell by the um, names. Um, well, at least this one is. So Coral, um, pretty much all the way down to here are native instruments. So I could just actually chuck them into that folder. And as long as they're in my VST folder, the program will still find them. This is Anik 2 from Sonic Academy. So I could just make a folder for that, chuck that in. And then we got waves. So let me just make a waves folder. And that's just if you want to keep your plugins extra um, organized, making folders inside your VST folder. This is the most sane way I felt like do, I've, I've done it, just making these four folders. Otherwise, you're, you're combining your VST2s and VST3s in the same folder, and they it just gets a little messy. So um, I figured this would help. It's a quick little tip inside any doll. And uh, that's it.